What is up bitches, today I have a battle here against Reshima of Flames from YouTube and this battle was taking place at the new Zat chat called the RPX Zat chat so if you guys want to go check that out the link will be in the description down there. But um yeah, uh, this is just a battle testing out my um, Wi-Fi my Desume emulator if you guys want to learn how to do it then just YouTube it or Google it because I'm not even going to bother. And yeah, I just also want to test out this live uh, recording narration style, you know, how MBZ does and shit, so, um, you know what, I say hell, I'm gonna give it a try, cause, you know, I got Wi-Fi on Desume, so hey, why not? So yeah, um, I'm actually trying out a Sun Team, well, yeah, it's a Sun Team, and um, there's really nothing much to say, cause it's a Sun Team, so yeah. Uh, obviously I'm gonna lead off with nine tails because I'm just that pro and I'm really so original with my shit. He's gonna lead off with his Hydreigon. Now, I know I can live a Draco Meteor from this guy because I do have the special offensive Eevees. But, um, if he's Scarf, I will live it. But if he Specs, I will die in one hit. So I'm just gonna stay and just go for the Will-O-Wisp, um, knowing that, um, he's just gonna keep coming in and out and in and out so getting some Rizwa damage on this guy would definitely be really really helpful and uh, he doesn't take me out which confirms that he is Specs I mean not Specs Scarf 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 sorry 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 and now I'm gonna switch I'm gonna go into my Deoxys defense form just to sponge the hit and he does go for the second Draco as I predicted and you know Deoxys uh, takes that very very well as usual because the defense war meant to take hits very very well and now I'm gonna predict the switch here so I just gonna go for the Thunder Wave because I really don't see anything on this team that would like absorb the T-Wave so I'm just gonna go for it anyways in comes the Rotom Wash which I do paralyze it which is nice and um, I thought this was good because I thought you know this Rotom was actually more of a offensive than defensive but um, as you'll see it's a uh, defensive one as I go for a layer of spikes and he thunder waves me back so not looking pretty good um, because he paralyzes my deoxys form and um, you know now he's gonna be faster than me regardless of that paralyzed because he paralyzed me as well so I know he can't really do anything to me because of the fact that I'm especially bulky so I'm just gonna set up a layer of spikes a second layer to be more precise and he's just gonna switch into his Gliscor annoying. I can't really do anything to it. Um, if I were to carry Ice Beam on this guy, I definitely would have one shot that bitch, but I don't carry the Ice Beam. And so I'm forced to switch. And I'm gonna go into my Volcarona here as he goes for the Sword Stance, which is not good. And because I, because at this point I thought, oh my god, don't tell me I'm gonna get swept by a Gliscor. But I know I'm not gonna get swept by it because I'm just that pro. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a Fiery Dance, and I thought, hey, a Stab Fiery Dance in the sun should kill a Gliscor, right? Wrong. It freaking lives, which is a sliver of HP, and he's able to kill me off with an Aerial Ace. An Aerial Ace? Who the fuck runs that? Like, seriously, who runs that? And this is probably one of the reasons why I prefer running Fire Blast on my Volcarona instead of Fiery Dance. Because it killed things with Fire Blast, not make them live, you know. Um, that's just my opinion, you know, and such. But anyways, um, he's just going to protect Stalemate just to get some Poison Heal recovery. But Tangrowth's uh, Solar Beam is definitely going to demolish that thing without a doubt and take out the Gliscor. So that's pretty damn nice. And uh, he's going to bring in his Hydreigon here. Now, what I didn't know was that the fact that Hydreiga actually outspeeds Tangrowth in the sun with the Choice Scarf, but that really did not cross my mind one bit, as you'll, you know, I really did not expect the uh, Assassin Door to outspeed me in the sun. What I thought was is that I thought Grass was, like, you know, not very effective against Dragon types, so I said, okay, I'll switch into Deoxys Defense Form just to sponge the hit. Goes for a flame throw. It's not gonna do too much to me. Even with the sun boost, definitely not gonna do too much. And I said to go for recover here, uh, just to get my HP back to full and just to scout to see what he'll do. So he's going to scissor, and um, you know I can't really do anything because I really have nothing to take a hit from this guy. So I'm just gonna stay in here, 
Hopefully I can get off a second, a uh, third layer of spikes. But he's just gonna go for the bug bite and he gets a critical hit, which I don't think it matters in the slightest because I'm a specially bulky Deoxys defense form, not a physical one. So I highly doubt that that crit matter. So now I'm gonna bring my um, my Tain growth here again, my cunt punt, because he's definitely gonna, you know, punch some cunts here. And I'm just gonna go for the hidden power fire, um, knowing that you know it'll hit anything on his team and I wanted to kill Scizor not really but I just wanted to kill the Scizor right but it comes from wash and um, I'm like okay well I'm just gonna kill you with the solar beam so that's why I proceed to do go for the solar beam absorb that light like it's my destiny and I'm gonna kill that bitch off with a nice solar beam and that takes it out in one shot so Fuck yeah, Tangrowth, you are a beast. I love this thing in the sun. It rapes shit. It rapes shit in 4th gen. Hell, it rapes shit in 5th gen if it wants to. But anyways, in comes the Hydreigon. And I really have no safe switch on this guy. And again, you know, I'm not sure if grass is neutral on dragons. I'm not sure, but I'll look it up later. But I'm going to bring Nine Tails just to be a death fodder and uh, just a scout again. And plus, it'll also help me get some burn damage on him and shit. So, I'm just going to leave in my Nine Tails in here just to die and be a death fodder. Just so that I can bring my Sauce Buck here and just easily revenge kill with a nice return. And so, here uh, was actually me of thinking of what I wanted to do. Like, I could go into Terrakion and just basically like absorb the flamethrower and just easily kill him off with the close combat but then again you know the Scizor or the Alakazam might come in and like you know take the hit and he's also got a Terrakion of his own as well so that would probably not work out well for me so I'm just gonna bring my sauce buck here and I'm just gonna go for a nice stab return here and it should easily finish off the the uh, the high dragon as long as I don't miss sap my shit. And I didn't. I give him max happiness. Fuck yes. Fuck Bambi. Fuck you. Salzbuck is much much better and shit. And I don't know why it's not winter form. Uh, I think it's a summer form. But who fucking cares? Uh, Salzbuck kick ass. Anyways, in comes the Scizor, and I'm like. Ah, uh, well, I got nothing to take a hit from this guy, to be honest, so I'm just gonna stay in, just go for the Nature Power Earthquake, hoping that it will kill, but it doesn't, and he's just able to revenge kill me with the Bug Bite, so that is not good. But luckily for me, I do have the Tank Growth that will outspeed it, and hopefully kill him off with the HP Fire. Now, what I should have done is that I should have predict the Bullet Punch and just go for a straight off synthesis. I just heal myself to like, I don't know, full HP because morning, I mean, blah, not morning sun. I mean, the sun will actually give my synthesis a, a boost where it actually heals two thirds of my health instead of like, you know, half and such. But anyways, it caused the Alakazam and I was praying that this thing was not going to be a Magic Guard Focus Sash mid gamer dude. And luckily it's not because the spikes, uh, confirms that he's not a magic guard Alakazam so that means I can easily outspeed it go for a nice solar beam take that bitch out and that will be the end of that dude and his last guy will be a Terrakion which I can actually definitely outspeed it with the um, Titan growth and take it out with a nice power juicy ass solar beam and win the game so that was a great game uh, Regime of Flames um, I will post a link to his YouTube page in the description all that stuff and um, you know don't forget to comment like and add subscribe and I probably won't do this again just because of the fact that I get likes you know these videos take like a gig for each part and each part is like five minutes oh my god it's just so ridiculous plus I have to use my mother's computers if I want to get like Wi-Fi on Desume but hey that's it and that's that's it for me, rambling random shit. And yeah, I'll check you guys next time. Peace out, bitches. I'm out of here. Later.